right. Last day of double AS. Because we're coming close to the maximum of solar activity, of solar mass. That's a lucky lie. Okay, day four of AAS, the last day of AAS, always, always the sad day. My goals today are, of course, a last pass around the convention center, around the poster hall, the last opportunity to get swag, that's important. There's a good session today on low mass stars and stellar activity. This is flares and spots and magnetic activity on stars. This is, of course, my bread and butter. This is what I did my PhD on. And so I expect we'll see a lot of people that I know. Um, that'll be cool. I'm gonna get lunch with a friend, go to a couple plenary talks, and then in the afternoon, I'm gonna chair a session on techno signatures, which is what I gave a talk in yesterday. Can't believe how exhausted I am after this. And also it flew by. It seems like it's just gone so fast. This meeting feels like it went faster than any meeting I've been to, even though I've been less busy. Maybe I'm just getting old. Variability of m dwarfs that are known to have planets from months to decades. And today I'm going to be talking to you about radius inflation on low mass stars and what we can do with Gaia DR3 to improve this, the study of this issue. Cool stars are magnetic. Their churning convective envelopes are positively dappled by spots. And I have a lot I want to talk about today, so I'm just going to jump right in. So we start with a sample of about 100,000 optical spectra of M dwarfs and late K dwarfs from early Sloan surveys. So this is great because this is where we expect to see a lot of our young stars. Um, young stars are forming in the disk, they should be there. So it looks good. It's raining in Seattle. Okay, somebody told me that they're trying to give away swag, they're trying to empty their booth. So I'm going to come help them by taking some. Swag, swag, swag. Let's see. Okay, the shameless swag crawl has been very successful so far. I've got a bag, I'm filling it. People are very good about like just giving things away at the end of the week. All right, that's a serious sticker roll. I like it. All right, we did well. What I loved about the session this morning and why I was so involved and asked a lot of questions was so many of the projects were based on things that we worked on or I knew people who did like 15 years ago. This, that session was almost fully like a new generation of people taking up the ideas and topics that I started doing my career with. This afternoon I'm going to be chairing a session on one of the things that I'm most excited about going forward. So that's the best way to end this week. Thinking about these cycles, cycles of birth and rebirth, discovery and rediscovery, sunshine and rain, and maybe a little more rain this week. I didn't realize it was rear projected. That's cool. Okay, just moderated a session. And check it out. A bunch of people still hanging out talking. Still chatting about the content of the session. It was great. Canned water. I'm thirsty. That's weird. That's, that's weird. I mean, it's water. AAS 241 finished. That was a very long week. Very good week, but I'm exhausted. Tomorrow at UW, I'm organizing a workshop on SETI with LSST, and I'm really excited about that. But it means no rest day afterwards. Today I did one last pass through the poster hall, got all the swag. My kids are gonna be very excited about the light up fidget spinners. I had lunch with a friend who then gave a plenary talk. Good job, Dan, that was great. The very last talk of AAS is a talk about Gaia, which you know I love, I love Gaia. And I hope all my students are watching that Gaia talk because we'll talk about it on Tuesday in class. It was so good to be back in person with people. Yeah, the masks were a little tedious. I did COVID tests every day just 
as careful extra layer of surveillance of information. It's not perfect, and you know, fingers crossed, nobody gets sick. As part of my annual tradition, my practice of doing a science, this is an important event for community and for ideas and learning new things, and I have missed that very much. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.